How can you get your legs open like that? <laughs> Anyways, here's the deal. People say, how do you afford to eat all that fruit? Well, when I was doing drugs, <laughs> when I was doing drugs, we did things that were criminal to get the money to buy the drugs. And people say, Ali, <laughs> I'm laughing because people say, you look still look like a fucking meth addict, mate. Nothing's changed. <laughs> I've been clean since 1997. Fuck yous. Alright. So we've got pineapple and papaya here in Thailand. Can you sort of see that? So it's about the size of my head. So it's fuck all calories. I mean, this is like, these are my snacks. This is what I snack on, you know, during morning while I'm working on the computer. So uh, this costs about, whew, we got uh, $4, $4 for the pineapple, which is about a day's wage in Thailand. Average income in Thailand is about $5 US. So this was about $4 US, this one here. So that's a day's wage. And this was a, this is about four dollars as well. So we've got almost two days' wages just for this, just for maybe uh, five hundred calories here. Two days' wages. So that's equivalent. The average wage in Australia is about one hundred and forty US. So that's like almost two two days' wage. That's almost worth, let's say, two hundred and twenty dollars US. Entire, you know, once you break it down. And this is local fruit. This is not imported. This is Locally grown, maybe 20, 30, 50 kilometers from here, maybe even less. This is locally grown fruit, and it takes the local people up to two days to earn enough money to buy this if they're on the basic Thai minimum wage. So how much is the, the, the basic wage in the U.S.? You know, it's, people will say, oh, but you know, you've got to buy local and stuff. And local is great. It tastes better, but it's not always cheaper. Here's the thing, people say, oh, you know, oh, like, fruit's too expensive, but you should always buy local, you shouldn't buy imported food, you should you pay like 10 times the price and buy local. It's not always cheaper, man. Here in Thailand, in Bangkok, where they grow more fruit than anywhere in the world, Thailand, a durian, a little pot of durian right now, in Bangkok, it's costing like up to 200 baht, which is over a day's wage, over a day's wage for this much durian, for that much durian. Like a, a big eye, a face piece of durian, <laughs> over you know, over a day's wage just to earn that. I mean, you can buy literally ten Snickers bars imported from China for the same money. It's quite interesting here. So, what do people live on here? They live on rice. They live on vegetables, and they live on insects. <laughs> yes, people eat insects here. They eat cockroaches. They eat crickets, water scorpions, scorpions. They eat insects here. They eat rats. They eat mice a few tadpoles, a little bit of fish here and there, and that's what they eat, and that's why they're so lean, because they live on the rice and the vegetables, and when they're eating animal products, it's, it's like a little, you know, it's a little cockroach or a little a little portion of a fish flesh like that, you know. So the fat intake here is very low, that's why we see people very lean here, typically, but when they get more money, they start buying more fat, more oil, and more animal products, and more dairy, eggs, fish, meat, steak, and then... Poof, they explode out. So how do you afford the healthy lifestyle? You just got to put it as a priority. When people are doing drugs, that's their priority. They don't give a fuck. They'll do whatever it takes. Ask your heroin buddies. If you know any heroin addicts, say, how can you afford $200 a day on your heroin addict? And ask them. Get advice from heroin addicts on how to eat healthy. Use their motivation. You don't have to steal from your grandma or break into houses or whatever, but you got to use that mentality that you'll do whatever it takes to get what you want in life. And it's just about now being, as a conscious person, it's about doing whatever it takes to get what you want in life without stepping on other people in the process. You actually get what you want in life and you lift people up as you get it. That's a pretty cool deal, isn't it? So it's win, win, win. It's win for you, it's win for the planet, it's win for your health, it's win for your physique, it's win for everything, your mentality, the animals, your community, the environment. It's win, win, win. So I tell people, move to areas where you can get the quality food, where you can get the quality training partners, where you can get the quality support. Why stick in a shitty, cold, stinky, rotten place where the fruit tastes like shit, where the rednecks outweigh the smart people, the conscious people? Why live there? Fuck that, man. I'm into living in the best places ever, every day. You will not see me living in anywhere where it's like, where the fuck do I train? Where the fuck's the fruit? I'm not, I'm not down for that, man. I'm not down for you know, living with downers. 
live with people who have high standards, live in environments that have high standards. Yeah, you're always going to get a couple of rednecks, that's fine. You're always going to get a couple of pieces of fruit that are sour, that look good on the outside, but they're crap on the inside. That's just, that's just life. Chuck it in the compost, keep on rolling. So how do, how do you afford the fruit? Organic wholesalers, markets, farmers, get a job on the fruit farm. The ironic thing is locals can't afford to buy a lot of fruit, yet, if well then when those locals work on the fruit farms, and I've been to these fruit farms in Thailand, they can eat as much fruit as they want. So it's, it's sort of quite a, a paradox. But here in Thailand, people love eating a lot of fruit. Like, you give them the fruit, they'll eat it. It's not like in Australia where they'll be like, oh, I was, fruit will make you fat or whatever. Here, they'll, they'll chow it down. They see me eating the fruit and they're like, you know, they love it. They love it. They just think, how can you afford it? That's a lot of money. And then you get the Thais that have a lot more money and they're sort of a bit more westernized and they start thinking, well, fruit does make you fat, even though I'm getting fat from all the dairy and the steak at the, at the business lunches. Must be the bananas I don't eat. Must be the durian I hardly ever eat. And... Uh, they, they don't get it, they just get, they get smarter, but they get dumber, they get dumber, they get really good at learning dumb things, they get really good at business and meaningless crap, what, meanwhile their health's just going out the window, they get really good at doing dumb things, so bottom line, in life, just have goals, work towards them daily, do whatever it takes to get what you want, and it's in the process, help raise people help raise people. When we raise others, we raise ourselves. And uh, don't be afraid to dish out some tough love. Carb up, fruit up. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.